for a street fair, uh, kind of a filler material which is allowed as per IS. So, by itself it is good, but if you see the performance, it is different. Okay, I don't want to name the company. Uh, when you experience, you will come to know. Why I am saying this? Don't just go by the brand. Go by the source. Though I just mentioned one simple word, source, it's a powerful. I have used a, a different bread of cement, one from Kalburgi and another one from Maharashtra. Again, same brand, the performance is different. Be careful about that. All the 4 degree grade cements are not the same. Okay, it differs from brand to brand, even within the same brand, different source with the performance degree. So, when you are getting a cement in bulk, you need to be very, very careful because most of the time the bulk cement brought to the ready mix plant also carry the fly ash in their return trip back to the cement plant. So, when they do so, when the bulk cement is not fully unloaded, okay, then the residual fly ash or a GGBS can have a different behavior when it is mixed along with the cement. So, you need to be very, very careful. So, this is why, madam, I, I wish uh, this students should have an exposure to a ready mix plant. Because whatever I am talking now, you can experience when you visit a ready mix plant. Okay. And bagged cement. So, in the bagged cement, uh, sometimes ready mix people use that because uh, they are uh, shipped through the rail racks to get into the ready mix plant and used it in the concrete production. And Consistency. You need to check the consistency of the cement. Consistency of the cement also sometimes there is that has a strong influence in terms of performance of the uh, concrete, performance of that mixer. So you need to check the consistency of the cement. And sampling of each recipe is important so that you can check the behavior. Okay. And uh, mixing of brands, mixing of brands never ever allow that. You will say uh, this, uh, for example, this is from Ramco cement, this is from Chetnar cement, this is from Dalmia cement. All these cements I have, I have worked with all these cement companies. I have used their cement brand also. Everything independently, individually, they are good. But if you mix together, the behavior changes. So be careful about that. And sometimes in the ready mix plant what happens, customer will supply the cement. If I am constructing a bungalow, if I am constructing a bridge, so I will say I am going to have a tie up with say ultra tech cement, I am going to provide it. But you are already using the Dalmia cement or the Chetna cement, I'm just throwing some nails. So in that kind of situation, you need to be very careful. Uh, when they are supplying the cement. So, the compatibility becomes a problem. You do a mixed design with a particular brand of cement and later, if you are uh, uh, mixing the brand, the behavior will not be the same. Independently, a mixer is good. Independently, cement is good. But the, the physical properties and chemical properties keep changing. Okay. Temperature of cement. Any any idea uh, why temperature of cement is important? Like this? Especially when you buy the cement from the market through cement bags, what happens? So the cement produced goes to the room and find its own time to get loaded. Nowadays, most of the time it is loaded directly into the truck and it goes to a cement stockist and later it comes to your place. By the time it takes 3 or 4 days, minimum. But in ready mix plant, when you get from the bulk, what happens? The bulker goes to the cement plant, 
hot cement being produced, put into the bulker, that bulker straight away comes to the ready mix plant. So, hardly 7 8 hours from the time of production, the cement is reaching you at your uh, manufacturing places. So, that will be very hot. But what you do, you do a mix design in your uh, college or in your laboratory with a cold cement, hardly any temperature or room temperature. But this, when it is 70 degrees, 80 degrees, when it is mixed in the concrete, when you pour water or when you pour admixer, it behaves erratically. Then you will be scratching your head. What? My professor told me to do like this. I have followed strictly my mix design. I could see my calculation is right, but way I am not getting uh, desired workability, desired flow parameters, despite I am using the right combination of admixers. The same admixer will not work. I can challenge it. Temperature of cement play a vital role. Be careful about that. Because ready mix plant, you have only few silos, and once you keep adding the cement, if you add the fresh hot cement, it will have a different behavior. Cement is your material. Um, you need to be very, very careful with uh, uh, fly ash. You need to check the fineness because whatever you are getting from a thermal power plant, they don't check the fineness. They just, it has got six different fields. I think we can organize some uh, thermal plant visit also where they can see the fly ash production, how different fields, different. Uh, 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 Fly ash, glass-fed fly ash, all these things are produced. And um, especially, uh, uh, you need to be careful about the unburned carbon. Okay. And uh, again, source of fly ash need to be very important. If you see in Tamil Nadu, we have MTPS, Metro Thermal Power Corporation. We have NCTPS, North Chennai Thermal Power Corporation, Thermal Power Station. And we have also ETPS, Inno Thermal Power Station. If you see all three. NCTPS is good, the latest technology, and uh, MTPS is also good, Metro Thermal Power Plant also is good, but Endur is slightly different. But nevertheless, you need to be little careful, these people, they used to do a power shutdown in a year for a maintenance. So that point of time, you will not get the desired <coughs> quality of fly ash. Okay, you are forced to use that. What will happen? You will do a mix design with the cement, I mean the 43 or 53, plus fly ash, plus GGPS, all these combinations. But for that 6 to 8 weeks, you are not getting fly ash. What will you do? You cannot get the fly ash from uh, Vijayawada, or you cannot get the fly ash from, uh, from uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh or any other nearby state because it is expensive. You are forced to use the fly ash. So, that point of time, you need to have an alternate mix design with GGS because the fly ash is coarse, it will not behave as you find. So that point of time, you should have. Think. See, right now it may look simple when you practically do it in the industry after studying. Once you become an engineer, then you will find out these subjects why it is not working. What was working yesterday? what is not working today. What was working in the month of January, why it is not working in the month of October. You will, you will experience that. Because you only did the mix design. You are a quality control engineer. But you will find out what is going wrong. I am getting from the same source. So these are all the practical problems. So coming to GGBS, GGBS you can have a more replacement than a fly ash. Fly ash you can have only 30%. GGBS you can go even up to 50 percent, even more than that also. But the admixer compatibility for fly ash and GGBS is completely different. GGBS is a produced material. Fly ash is a recycled material. Okay, the behavior is different. Dosage is different. The advantage of GGBS that you can go for higher replacement, extra fineness. I told you about 4,000 blinds, 10,000 blinds. It's having extra fineness. Okay. But the another problem with the GGBS is it is like a tube light. 
it works very good in summer but it is lazy in the winter try to understand again if you have a nix design with the ggbs it will be doing extremely well in summer so that is why even the countries like middle east they are extremely using the ggbs from the country like india daily shipment is going from uh, gujarat you know ggbs is going from gujarat from assam so they are extremely good they are replacement percentage is good performance is also good but i have experience within the country especially the place like punjab the the summer the, the winter temperature goes up to 4 degrees 5 degrees when you use the ggbs concrete doesn't set because it doesn't react that's why i'm using the word tube like you can you can recollect those examples that's why i'm mentioning about that and this is why i say it is seasonal behavior it behaves differently from summer to winter so that's why we are uh, trying to do triple blending triple blending these days it is pretty common in the industry this triple blending it is a composite cement some companies like a sagar cement they are producing composite cements there are some other companies also producing uh, composite cement but the problem is you cannot have your own proportion as a mixed design in terms of fly ash percentage ggbs percentage and the cement percentage right in that kind of situation if you are going for your own mixed design and triple blending only you can do in ready mix plant not in the uh hand mix or uh, site mix plant aggregates you need to be careful with the moisture if you are not correcting the moisture because people generally think moisture on receipt of material if you are controlling it is fine no <coughs> you have to control at the time of production what is the moisture so there are moisture probe available in the ready mix plant if you use that it will give but practically you will not be successful with my experience you need to have a correction factor of moisture at least 3 to 4 times in a day depends on the ambient conditions so uh, i have already talked about the washed aggregates uh, again specific gravity specific gravity if you see even the place like chennai you get a aggregate from vellu is different you get from tambram belt is different you get from uh, what you call andhra belt kalasri that aggregates are having different specific gravity don't blindly say i have done the mixed design i am okay specific gravity kick changes so you need to be careful and what is psd what is psd come on particle size distribution so it has to be within particular zone then only it will perform not that you can all the aggregates you can use it as it is that need to be taken and you need to be careful about mixing of crush and and the manufacturing and also again same thing applicable for uh, uh, coarse aggregate also in the coarse aggregate you need to be little careful about the flakiness why you need to be careful about the flakiness any idea uh beyond breakage uh, if you see a round aggregate it has a surface area if you have a same aggregate with the same volume if it is a flakiness what happens the surface area increases once the surface area increases then the demand for powder material will be more demand for admixture will be more and keep changing we used to give an example if you have a 40 mm aggregate you have kind of a perimeter or a surface area if you break that into two the area is not the same you agree with me mathematically so this is the reason we need to be little careful about the flakiness so uh, when you use the admixers you need to be bit careful about the admixer because uh, in ready mix plant you will get admixer in the loose material not in the barrel form what you see blue color barrels normally you see in the 
in the ready mix plant what you see on the roadside also somebody is selling. Those are all the packing material used for admixers. Okay. Whenever you use that uh, admixer, you need to be a little careful. Okay. Labeling need to be very important. If you do by mistake one admixer to another admixer, your concrete will not perform. And use in sequence. If you are getting first first barrel, first. When you have old stock, try to get it consumed. And sampling of each supply is very important. You need to be careful about sampling of admixers and checking the uh, checking the solid content. Solid content play a vital role in terms of performance of the admixer. It looks the same color, but solid content different. Be careful about that. And if you do not do the steerage, steering operation, the kind of solid particle try to settle down, that will have a different performance. So be careful about that. Some places, I, I still remember uh, in Mumbai, uh, somebody wanted to inspect a uh, admixer and then uh, he did not close the drum. So these days they are using a syntax drum for storing the admixers. So during the rainy season, if the water is getting into those drums, so that can have an impact on the performance of the admixers. Light around the storage. So normally what happens, the daytime ready mix plant is different situation than a nighttime situation. In the nighttime, if you do not have adequate light, you think this is my admixer, by mistake you check the another admixer. It's all human errors, huh? it happens, it has happened. And people have struggled. Concrete panna the kapura arthanal setta nada concrete. Sette agarana. Come on, call the QC engineer. Ask her to come to the site. Site bono na dariyo. They will say, "Enna chhi concrete is setta agla. Setta ayro." Engineer ni ye place holla ma. This is the kind of challenge we will be experiencing. So for that, these are all the small, small quality checks you need to be a bit careful about it. And uh, mixing of admixer with the water. In the ready mix plant, instead of adding directly admixer, because admixer dosage, if you see, it will be around 0.5%, 0.6%. Like that. So that will not be directly added in the concrete for dispersion purpose. You add it along with the water so that the disbursement is proper. <coughs> this I have told about the additional waterproofing in my earlier uh, topic. So, we talked about the source of water, recycled water, and let me talk uh, 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 something about chilled water. When you are using high volume cement, especially for uh, M60 grade, M40 grade like that, the cement content is high, when you have a higher cement content, what will happen? Heat of hydration will be more. How to control that? To control that, you used to suggest use chilled water. Chilled water means uh, normally recommended around 4 degrees. So if you are using chilled water, the performance of concrete will be different. Okay. This is the reason uh, 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 some places they are using ice where they cannot have a chiller plant. Okay. And uh, even in uh, Amaravati project where uh, the, the biggest mass concrete happened, we installed a chiller plant in supplied concrete. Okay. In, if you use the ice in the mix, what happens? You will have challenge in terms of controlling the thing. Every now, if you are having ice, uh, how to break? If you want to add uh, 42 kg, add panona chironga. How you break that ice 42 kgs? Use panna melt Plus, on the 42 kg, you need to lift it and put it into the plant. You cannot put it in a block. You have to crush it. So, you need to have an ice crusher. And you plant the concrete at 9 o'clock. And you plant the ice to be supplied at 8, 8.30 in the morning. But the fellow says, no, you shift the timing, you shift it by two hours. Then the traffic starts, 
then it gets shifted by another two hours. Do you think ice is going to wait for you? It will start melting. These are all practical challenges you guys will be facing. So that is why the chilling plant is much better. Chiller plant port panina, you will not have the kind of a shrinkage cracks and other things. And testing of water for quality also you need to do that so that you will have a better performance. Even in the if you use the normal water, if somebody is really, really interested, they can see how the concrete behavior changes when you use a normal water and a chilled water. Right? So, moisture play a very, very vital role. Okay. So, uh, this is a kind of a moisture probe. You can see here, here, this place. This is a moisture probe. So, when you are using the moisture probe in the falling material, on the probe on the, it just captures the moisture. But then now now it keeps changing. It will not give the realistic number. So, that is why to control the moisture, we used to have kind of a shelter for the material. So that the rainwater doesn't go and it do not become very hot in the peak summer. And uh, this how it can be controlled. And, uh, Whenever there is a rain, what happens? Again, you panitair ping You cannot cover with everything. All this material cannot be covered with everything. So, because of the rain water, the moisture get increased. Moisture increase around and now. You will have a water cement ratio control. 0.39, 0.38, 0.42. But, when you do that, the moisture will not be there. But, when you do that, with this rainy water, the entire thing collapses. Adhikaya, Moisture correction is important in the batching plan. There is a there is a provision in the batching plan. When you visit, possibly if I am there around, I will teach you how to do that. So that way we can control the moisture so that it is almost equivalent to the mixed design what you guys have done in the college or in the laboratory. Okay. So when you are operating this material through a loader, front end loader, so the top layer of moisture padina bottom bottomla layer in fact, uh, when I was doing the metro project in uh, Mumbai for Siddhi Vinayak area, there was a big challenge. So I cannot get the material in the in the daytime, night time in the world. material one I need to store it. So fresh material one na adur moisture arko. Stored material after the few hours and the moisture will try to come down. So the moisture variation will be there. Top lower mar arko, as you go in the bottom it will be different. So you need to be very really careful about handling those materials. You need to give instruction to the loader operators. So coming to material getting mixed. So on the same bulker what we are using for cement, fly ash and GGBS that comes to the ready mix plan. There are occasions where the, the uh, material get mixed, uh, even uh, uh, the cement, fly ash, GGBS. You know, one particular occasion, cement or a fly ash mix pond, cement or a GGBS mix pond. You know, bulker la vandu, you said cement vela GGBS mix. With my experience, I can able to see that and get tapu na dandar kenda. How to differentiate between cement and GGBS? Rendum pakatu orai marva. How to differentiate that? Cement to GGBS, if they are bringing GGBS, you have a look at 